welcome back. Um, a lot of people on my Instagram stories were interested in an actual walkthrough of the purse that I had said was maybe like purse piece for me um, and like a what's in my bag. So I thought I would do that really quickly. And um, for my Patreon and then YouTube um, followers, I'm also going to add on at the end of this video a walkthrough of my new wallet setup because that also changed um, last night. So let's just get started. Um, I'm going to do very little, again, very little what's in my purse, um, What? where exactly did I get everything. Um, I'll hit the big things, but, and I'll try to, um, in the description of everywhere that I post this, have where I found, like, the major items, but if it's not in the description, um, and it's, then go, please feel free to comment, and I will try to tell you if I remember. Okay. I will tell you what this purse is. This is a Portland Leather Goods... Um, triangle bag in the color Grizzly. Um, if you're familiar with their cold brew color, it's that but less pebbly. Actually, there's no pebbles at whatsoever. Um, yeah, and it zips and everything fits in here. And you open it up and you take my gloves out. It Everything just has its little spot. So... And that's what I mean by, like, purse piece, is that everything, everything fits and everything has its place. Um, I will say that if you remove two things, my A6 rings will also fit in here and close. So that was, like, the big reason I bought this purse and the big, like, um, well, my, my current EDC has to, my current everyday carry has to fit in this purse for it to actually work and not be returned. And it does. Um, it even fits in here in its um, uh, sleeve um, that I have for it that I actually don't have with me right here, um, but I'll show you. I'll, sh I'll show you how it fits in here. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out is just my sunglasses case, a hard case for the sunglasses because I feel like they get scratched in anything less than a hard case. Um, and then this is my wallet. It is a pocket ring size, and I will go through that at the end and with those things two things gone my planner will fit in here and I could probably move the pocket ring somewhere else um yeah see perfect and I could probably like pop the pocket rings in here somewhere um but before this I was in a a plotter mini five for my wallet and that would go just it would slip right here in this like pocket right here I don't know if you can see it it's very cloudy today um so I've also added like a few other things in here to make it like less ideal for both an a6 and a pocket rings to fit in here but it does work I guess is my point in saying that okay next in here I have a pouch um, again, Portland leather in it. I keep things like hair tie, um, allergy meds, sunscreen. Um, I have some bobby pins and some band-aids. I have some like anti-lactose stuff. I think I've got a like a face cleanser in there and a hairbrush. Like random doodads that I just don't want. Um, like flying around on the bottom of my purse. Because I don't like a messy bottom purse for me personally. I feel like it like, I don't like the texture of trying to reach into things and it's like potentially slimy or grimy at the bottom of my purse. It, it's unpleasant, like touch sensory, so I keep everything in pouches. Um, next, I do have keychains attached to this ring right here. So this is one of them. In it, I have things that I would need to attach to my like keys that like on the go like maybe I'm doing having a smaller like purse set up and I would just keep this so things like my loops some chapstick um some headache medication another allergy pill 
um, cough drops, stuff like that, like things that I would absolutely need um, to take with me in a smaller purse setup that goes on here. And then attached to it is my house keys. Um, they're just protected by this leather thing and you just pull it out and then you pop them back in. But my um, car keys aren't attached to that. My car keys are attached to something smaller um, because like the, these two things are really heavy and I'm not going to put too much weight on my car keys for them to break off um, and potentially like for the key to break off in the ignition. I'm not about that life. Um, so this part, this the house key part stays in my purse most of the time, but this part is long enough for me to, when this purse is even on my shoulder, pull out my keys and access our mailbox and both of our doors. Um, even with the purse still attached, like on my, on my, um, shoulder. So I really like that. And then the last thing that's in here is this giant like purse organizer thing that I'm going to see if I can just pull out to show you. Um, and I have like all the other stuff just in this purse tote. So pardon me while I do this very uh, sloppily. Okay. Yeah. And that's, those are the only things that I keep in here. And then there is this pocket right here as well, this extra, like the, that internal pocket, and then there is a pocket here that I haven't used for anything yet. Okay, so what I have in this internal purse companion, or purse organizer thing, is a mini wallet with all of my extra cards in it, so it's got like my rewards cards and my like gift cards and stuff, stuff that I don't need on a daily basis goes in there. Actually, I'll just pop it out. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry for my indecisiveness. I don't want to put it back in the wrong place. Um, in this pocket, I've got, um, like a juice packet for water. I have clear lip gloss, mint, gum, and, um, hand sanitizer that smells like eucalyptus, because I like the smell of that. Um, here I have... Um, my pill organizer, so um, pain meds, Excedrin migraine, um, uh, Tums, stuff like that, that goes in there. On this side, I have pads, more lactate, and um, the last bits of a tissue pack. I need to replace that. Um, here I have a um, deodorant. Of all the things that I forget to do when leaving the house, putting on deodorant is like the one that happens the most often. And I always feel like I need to reapply because I'm like constantly self-aware. So I always have a small whatever brand in there as well. Um, this is a tote bag, like a reusable tote bag. Sometimes you just need to have an extra bag with you. Um, so I always carry that with me. Um, this is my fidget toy, for lack of a better word. Um, it's pretty silent, and it helps me when I need it to. Um, and that goes in that pocket. In this pocket, I have lotion, again, eucalyptus, another fidget toy, um, a tinted sun protectant for like your lips, like it's a, it's called a tinted lip shield. Um, most of my skincare is actually this brand. Um, and then I have a charging cord. Um, I am about to add a battery pack in here, probably on this side, like right here. Um, it just hasn't arrived yet. Um, and then here, this is a little pack of pistachios because you never know when you're just gonna need something extra to eat. Like, I find that I get really grumpy when I get hungry and, like, I get really foggy-headed, which I think is normal. And sometimes, like, that little bit of salt can help, so I keep that in there. And I think that's just about everything, you guys. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's everything that I keep in my purse at the moment. There's some things that I want to add.
add in here, like I said, the, the battery pack. Um, I think I want to add like an extra pen um, slash pencil, like just in case someone needs to borrow it and I don't want them to borrow the one from my wallet. Stuff like that. Maybe a, um, a box to go with this cord. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I have a few things on my mind. Um, I've thought about adding a garbage bag. Like, I kid you not, like a trash bag. Um, just in case, because you never know when you need it. Um, my husband and I use them to put our dirty laundry in to separate our clean laundry from our dirty laundry when we're traveling. And sometimes we forget to bring them. So, I don't know, you never know. But yeah, and then I don't have anything, like there's one more long pocket in this organizer and I don't put anything in there because I find it like bumps up against um, like the other pouches that I have. So yeah, that's, that's my purse setup, you guys. Um, oh, hold up. And then of course, like you have to rearrange it back the way that you had it that everything fits in it the way that you want it to, which of course it never does. Okay. Actually, I will mess with this off camera, but that's it. And then my phone and my gloves, because it's getting to be cold, just go on there. And I do have a claw clip attached to my strap just like always yeah so that's my purse okay and then for my patrons and YouTube friends I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of this but I have to do something first I did not prep it before filming so the I have an in case of emergency card and my driver's license in full view and I just need to remove those really quickly. Okay, so I got this in yesterday. It is from the brand Cambridge. Um, I found it on eBay. It's from like 2001 and it's, it's a brown color. I don't know, it looks kind of purple. Like it looks almost like a wine, like a brown slash wine, like reddish color depending on the light but it's brown um it is pocket sized and it has a wallet compartment and I'm kind of in love with it so I'll give you a quick walk through the only thing I know about it is it's Cambridge brand it's from the early 2000s and I found it on eBay and I think there are two left from the seller that I purchased from so this is what it looks like on the inside I just have like this eucalyptus paper here for some color and to kind of break up like the dark brown. Um, my driver's license goes right here and then this is where I keep my in case of emergency card. Um, it has information like my name in case my driver's license gets, mis gets misplaced, um, my blood type, my phone number, my email address, my three top emergency contacts, um, where to find quick health information. So for me, that's right here, this pink tab, like it's not filled in so I can show it to you. But if there was a situation that they needed, like the names of my doctors or my husband's doctors, like they would find that information here. And so I put on this thing, like that's, that's where you're going to find it. Um, I added my street address again, just in case my driver's license goes missing for some reason. Um, I put on there that I have no extreme allergies, but if I did, I would put my extreme, like, anaphylactic shock allergies on there. And I also put in my phone code, like, just in case they needed access to my phone and I was immobilized or something, I did put that on there as well. Um, and that goes in this little pocket here. Um, on the back of that in case of emergency card, I just have a little, um, like letter to myself about what I'm intending to use this planner for because I was really afraid that I would accidentally hop back into this planner when I'm so content with pocket, oh sorry, um, A6, that I, I wrote out a little, like this is what it's I'm using it for, 
um, this is what I'm allowed to do in it, like scribble, use ballpoint pen, use pencil, use the occasional highlighter. This is what I'm not, like the, the intention is not to use a lot of decoration and like that's not what its purpose is. Um, and also reminding myself that keeping it updated, oh, <laughs> sorry, um, I might have to clear that out. Um, keeping it updated is, um, is helpful to me is taking care of myself. So like, you'll see that I have my monthlies in here. Um, let's do, like I've got, let's show you August. Like, this is from when I was in pocket, but I have monthlies all the way through 2024 in here and I even have a 2025 fold out. Um, and it is taking care of myself to keep that the most updated that it can be because I don't want to be in a situation where I need that information. I have that information somewhere and it's just not available to me. So that letter was just reminding me that like, yeah, keep this updated. So those are those things. And then I did do a little bit of decoration just because like, I never know how to start off a planner. And like, I don't know, I, I felt like talking about fall was like a good way to do it. I don't know. Um, I do have, in terms of organization, the only organization I have is three bottom tabs right here. And um, the first tab is like monthly information, as I said. So 2023 monthlies, 2024 monthlies, just like in my A6, and then the um, 2025 Filofax um, foldout. And then it immediately goes into the second tab. And these rings are tiny, you guys, like probably 11 millimeters at most. And I'm finding that like, if it was any more, I would struggle to like put too much in here. So I'm glad for that. I did add in my dated um, Filofax, like week on two page insert, just in case like, I had a really high active work week last week. Um, I was on sites for work every day and I couldn't exactly pull out my big planner because it was clunky and frankly the sites were a little dirty. Um, so like, even just having an at a glance, I don't know, task list for when I got off work or like the events that were happening. I don't know, I just, it felt good to have a month at a time, week on two page, nothing fancy. It is a Monday start, so it's not my favorite thing, so I'm not gonna switch into it. Um, but just having it denoted by the today tab just felt right. And then I have a pen loop separating that from like the notes pages, which is the other big part besides my monthlies in this setup. So I have a couple list pages, but most of my notes pages are these just blank note pages from Sterling Ink, like the Tomoe River Paper ones, because the reason that I struggled um, last week at the construction sites was there, were, there was one day, one or two days where I was just sitting around waiting for things to happen before I could like shadow someone. And I had a, a lot of ideas that I wanted to write down, but I didn't, I couldn't pull out like my A6 rings. <laughs> to me, it would have been more acceptable to like pull this tiny thing out and like write on my lap than like my whole honking A6 beauty. Like, um, and so having these notes pages when I need them is why I switched into a pocket rings for a wallet setup. Um, and then at the back, I have like one of these little lists because I always use these. I don't, couldn't tell you what for, project planning something. I have two like blank dailies, Hobonichi week style or Hobonichi cousin and Tacho style, just in case. I don't know, you never know. And then two other weeklies, again, just in case, because I'm all about being prepared, if you didn't notice by my um, uh, purse setup. And then the last tab is for my reference information. So as I said, medical information for my husband and I, I've got my Bible reading plan, I have a task trigger list, my perpetual calendar, 
um, makeup reference and clothing sizes by store in case I'm going out shopping for both things grocery guide like master grocery list um, packing trigger list but also my own packing lists because I am pretty routine in what I pack but I like having it just in case passwords and contacts and then I have some sticky notes a slip sleeve from Filofax and a card slot from Filofax and that's the only thing that I have in my pocket ring portion and then in the actual zip pocket I have cards um, and my passport and stuff like that and that's my wallet setup and I've got the Hobonichi pen here because I, do, I am loving this ballpoint pen and I found this one from 2019 and I thought that while this one works beautifully with my A6 setup, this one needed a use and it was perfect to go with this. So that is my wallet setup and I will let you know, you guys know how it goes. I literally set it up last night and yeah, it just, it fits perfectly here. I think... I think what I did was this. Actually, no, I think the tassel was still down because I don't like the tassel, but I don't want to tear it off. I think this is why I don't take stuff out of my purse, like the giant pouch, you guys. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like because it was so perfectly set in here before I messed with it. I don't know if you guys feel that way about your stuff too. But it's like, it finally settled. Like I've had this purse for like a week, I think. And everything finally settled in and the Asics, or sorry, the pocket rings just slipped in so neatly. Fit in so well. And now it's just really struggling. You guys don't need to watch me struggle. If this one thing doesn't work, then I'm just... Yeah, I'm done. I'll figure this off, out off camera. But anyway, it is really, like, wonderful. And um, my keys, my car keys can, like, flop in here. And I didn't tell everybody else, but, like, it closes over all of this stuff. Like, if you pop it in there, it will, like, close and fully close even with these, key, like, key rings in there. So... I love it. It's working well, and I'm going back to dark chocolate browns because it's winter, so that's kind of why I got it, because I don't have a dark brown purse for the for winter time, and that was just, that's kind of my vibe right now, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Quick video, but thanks for letting me share. Bye.